And you talked about a myriad of things that, that could help out and ultimately maybe even the playing field from the data collection to artificial intelligence, sure. facial recognition. Explain it for look, us. Look, one of the things that we have is a, a new technology, facial recognition, which I think you're going to see more and more used in the technology space. Also artificial intelligence. So as you combine those two intelligence right there together and you start combining billions and billions of pieces of data because right now you're overloaded all the governments are overloaded they can't figure out what's who's doing what but also it goes back to political correctness of exactly. what about your privacy? let's say facial let's, recognition london, privacy. Is, london is known and i'm not sure about manchester but we know they have a lot of uh, closed circuit television there correct is it it could could technology eventually be adapted so that uh, there's facial recognition out there, and you can see somewhere near a venue, stress, their face is stressed, or the face raises a red flag because they have been in police custody before, a right. person of interest before. Absolutely. And you can, it, will this sort of give us a chance, technology, is that a great way to have a chance to be able to combat this? Yes, and it will also pick it up ahead of time because you're watching these people come in, like our facial technology will tell you right now, we'll be able to see people coming in. Good guy, bad guy. Separate the people. Now what you're going to deal with there is political correctness. What about the privacy, the privacy of the right. people? But you'll in? know, though, from their facial expressions sure and the stress of Against their face. Against your databases.